So on this slide, he, what you see is actually the, the model uh, in there. So you have uh, M constraints in there and S constraints in there by changing the R from 1 to S. Okay, so uh, these would be um, uh, the the input observations for all the uh, decision making units, and these will be the outputs for the uh, all the uh, decision making units. So here is a more um, detailed way um, in terms of the model presentation. So again. Um, Theta here is a decision variable. So in this model, you have uh, the decision variables are theta plus uh, the, all the lambdas, all the weights. And in an X and the Y, these are all uh, given uh, variables. Uh, and again, this is input oriented model, uh, just a set. And uh, we, uh, because the model tries to uh, reduce the current input level by the same factor theta, which is the um, efficiency score. If theta is equal to one, then the uh, the DMU is out of the frontier. Otherwise, if it's less than one, then DMU is uh, not on the frontier. Um, in a sense, the, that particular DMU is enveloped by the frontier, and I think that's why it's called data envelopment analysis. Now, in this model, the optimal uh, the theta. Uh, would not be greater than one. Just think about why here. And this model again, uh, if you have the book, you can look at the book that has two properties. One is convex explanations that we've talked about at the beginning, and then you also have the efficiency. Uh, the assumption here is that we can always uh, use more inputs or input levels to produce the same amount of uh, output levels, or we can always use the same uh, input levels to produce less outputs.